ya mwisho nikimalizia ni ya kwamba mnajua yule mzee ya maandamano ameamka tena <laughs> ameanza fujo na saa hii viongozi wetu wa kanisa tunawapenda wanatusukuma atatukua na masugumuso na yeye na tumesema haiwezekani ama mnataka tusugumuze na yeye sisi hatuwezi sugumuza na muhalifu huyu mtu hakuna maandamano alikuwa amepanga alikuwa amepanga kuharibu mali ya wananchi kuchoma maduka kuiba vitu ya watu huyu ni muhalifu na hatuwezi hata tukisukumwa na viongozi wetu wa dini kukaa chini na muhalifu na huyu muhalifu ati anataka tukae chini ati tumwawie serikali nusu sijui kama mnakubali hiyo yeye unajua amezoea hiyo maneno ya kuuzia watu uoga aliuzia moyo uoga 1997 akaletwa ndani ya serikali ya Kanu akapatiwa waziri jogo ikameza traktor ikazama akarudi hapo 2007 akauzia mwai kibake uoga akalete fujo akaletwa kwa serikali ya nusu mkati akaingia akaharibu hiyo serikali mwaka 27 2017 akauzia uhuru uoga mtoto ya Serak akaogopa akamleta ndani ya serikali akaharibu serikali yetu sasa anataka atiatuuzie uoga kwa kutoa fujo na maandamano na kuharibu vitu ya watu na kukoroka wa Kenya ati tumulete kwa serikali yetu ningetaka nitangaze nikiwa hapa Eldoret hakuna masugumuzo tutafanya na mwalimu hii Jumatatu inakuja hakuna mtu atakubaliwa kuguza mali ya mkenya hakuna mtu atakubaliwa wanajaribu kutugawanya ati huu oh, president William Ruto anataka masugumuzo na mzee Kitendawili ati yule anakataa nikachagwa na ichongwa mimi ningetaka niambie hawa msijaribu kugawanya sisi rais William Ruto na sisi zote hatuwezi kaa chini na muhalifu kama anataka kukaa chini na sisi aende kanisa atubu aombewe aokoke alafu tutafanya mazungumzo na yeye na hiyo mazungumzo haitakuwa mambo ya uchaguzi uchaguzi uliisha haitakuwa kuingia kwa serikali yetu kwa sababu haiwezekani mazungumzo tutakuwa na yeye ni atuambie ile pesa walipora na watu ya uhuru wakapeleka ngambo watarudisha siku gani hiyo ndio mazungumzo tunaweza fanya na yeye ile mazungumzo tunataka kufanya na yeye ni ile mali umeweka watu yako kuharibu na ilobi mtawalipa siku gani hiyo ni mazungumzo tunaweza fanya na yeye lakini kukaa chini na muhalifu ati tumwawie serikali ati yapebelezwe dio apoe hiyo maneno hayawezekani kama wa viongozi wa kanisa wangetaka kutusaidia wangetaka kuwe na amani mwenye kutafua ku, ku, kuchafua amani ni huyo mzee mwenye kuharibu mali ya Kenya ni huyo mzee wamuite wamzungumzie wamuombe awachane na fujo akae na amani lakini kutuambia tukae chini na muhalifu ambaye anatisha wa Kenya anaharibu mali ya wa Kenya kwa sababu ye hana haja na mali anaharibu mali Nairobi na watu yake wameshida huko wametusumbua wameiba kila kitu wamesimamisha biashara ya matatu unajua watu wamezoea kuuzia watu woga Uyu William Ruto hapana mtoto ya Serak William Ruto ni chuma ya zamani Sasa mtu amelelewa na shida na nini hiyo ni mtu ya kuzia uoga Sisi hapana watoto ya Serak sisi tumelelewa na mihogo na mandizi na shida mingi eh sisi hapana watu ya kutishwa na kwa hivyo mimi niwaambie hawa waachane na sisi yeye kama anataka maneno awachane na maandamano awachane na uhalifu awache kuchoma mali ya watu awache kuharibu mali ya wakenya aende kwake ako na wajukuu akae huko alee wajukuu yake angalie tv ile vile kenya naendelea lakini mambo ati ya kututisha sisi hapana na mimi naomba viongozi wetu wa kanisa kwa heshima mjiulize nani amelete shida kenya tumetoka uchaguzi kumekuwa na amani mwenye kulete fujo ni huyu sasa mnatuambia tumuongeleshe kuwe na amani na die mwenye kuleta fujo au si mwenye kuleta fujo anajulikana so viongozi wetu wa dini tunaomba nyinyi kwa heshima tafuteni muhalifu mwenye kuleta fujo muongee na yeye muombe sisi muachane na sisi tufanye kasi ya kuendesha Kenya Kenya yetu iende mbele 
Mimi nauliza viongozi wetu wa kanisa tafadhali. Don request us to sanction blackmail and impunity. Because what Raila Odinga is doing is blackmailing us into talks. How can you ask us to fall into that trap of blackmail, of threats and intimidation? We ask our spiritual leaders to do the right thing. Call Raila Odinga and tell him to stop destruction of property, looting of goods in Nairobi and destroying our economy. Call Raila Odinga and pray for him so that God can touch his heart to move away from the spirit of destruction and impunity. But we cannot. Atwezi, sisi, ati, ati atuzi ura, atu warasema ati mimi di unakata. Mimi sikata yu chochote, ile mimi nasema, ati mutu, aharibu mali ya watu, ati diotuketi. Inaweza kana? Eh, hey. ati aharibu mali, ati diotumuite. Alifanya hivyo kwa moi, akaitwa. Akafanya hivyo kwa kebake, akaitwa. Akafanya the same kwa uru, akaitwa. It will not happen again. Ya akaya kwa ke, si yako na wajuku. Akaya uko, tegeneze uji ya wimbi, kaya na wajuku, angalie family TV, afanya video anataka. Lakini sisi, kama tutakuwa na discussion na Raila, ni sawa. Tungetaka tuwe na discussion na Raila na uru pamoja. Watuambie, ile pesa ya Kenya, walipeleka Cayman's Island, watarudisha lini. Iyo tunaeza ongea. Watuambie wote wawili, ile pesa uru walisema ilipwe, 15 billion in 26 minutes, itarudishwa lini. Watuambie, hii maziwa waliku, wanalete inje ya pauda, wananuwa shilingi kumi, wanaogeza maji, wanatuzia, wat, 120, watawacha lini. That is a discussion we can have with Raila Odinga na Uru Kenyatta. Mambo ati akuja tumogawia serikali nusu, that is not possible. It is cannot happen, it will not happen. So wakisema sisi ni hardliner na akina ichongwa, it's okay. Kama kusema ukweli na kusema atuwezi nunua uoga ni kuwa hardliner, we are hardliners, it's okay. And there is no problem. Na andumalari ndirikari ni ya uru wa Kenyatta, PS yurari horari muna na muno, na numuge kuyu. Ni ora ale hile joo higuku Lera ni nashia nashitu Uru wero ale yeka leta house at house Akireti ongo mera raira Dione ke mara raia Joo hiyo ove Ila nini nashia nashitu ya iba ago Ila ale higu ne piyesi Ula ale kura ale na mwete omu inge muno Na nini inge muno Ola tuwa muru kamiya kurehe Ili ale hete Nwela ni nashia nashitu No Mwikwe ya uwa Utile bule teka kate Ketu ya shira na togori ya ya Ketu shira na madidi ima ya Ketu shira na mau siyes Ketu ya naona grimiti Ulato hui karania Mame nye ulato hui karania Na itu anere ya mudu Ule ya kueda hui kara Kwa hini ya kueda wira Aute Oko roda ya kueda Areke atuhe kanya Tushariye mwuru wakuruta No tutigi tikira Na magava na eno tukaria nao Nige kathuri karire Ati, mete kire, tulehe na kada, iye ni license. We have had our church leaders, with respect, call on all leaders to dialogue. And I want to confirm to the country that indeed, those of us who have been elected as leaders are ready to dialogue on matters that pertain to the livelihoods of our people. If you want to dialogue with us on how to bring down the cost of living without blackmail, we are ready to dialogue. What we are not ready to dialogue on is how we will act in a manner that is outside our constitution and our statutes for you to blackmail the country through anarchy so that you may safeguard your selfish ends. Ni lazima serikali ichukue hatua kuhakikisha maandamano ya mezimwa, maandamano ya gasia na fujo. Kama watu wanataka kuandamana deputy president, waambie OCS mahali wanataka kuenda kuandamana, masaa, 
na watapewa askari wa kuwasindikisha one of the ways of bringing down the cost of living is to repatriate the billions you looted from our economy bring back the money you looted from our economy back into the economy and this economy will begin the journey to restoration of what it ought to be tuliambiwa pandora papers pesa ya pandora papers tutaambiwa baada ya wiki mbili imepita miaka tatu hatutajua bilioni karibu 30 imetolewa nchi hii ilitengenezewa wapi na ilipelekwa nje kwa nini isistawishe uchumi wetu we will ask those questions i want to send a very strong warning to those people you are used to a currency of blackmailing kenyans after every election you come pretending that the constitution of kenya is below you is under you that you are above the constitution of kenya and you come here purporting like you have your own personal constitution which you operate on murieta kwa uchaguzi na mukajigaba kifua muko na deep state na ile ingine na wa kenya wakawaambia nyinyi na deep state wakaonyesha jia ya kwenda nyumbani muandamane you can go even picketing on top of KICC but the president you are dealing with the deputy president you are dealing with this is a different kind of leaders there will be no mkatenusu there is no dialogue on how to share anything the only thing to share is to the service to the people of Kenya which you are already doing